Bienvenidos a Azeroth, no sé si ustedes pueden distinguir quién es el orco de los dos, él o yo, pero bueno, estamos justo en el set de Warcraft, la película, la épica película que se estrena el próximo mes de junio, basada por supuesto en el videojuego de Blizzard, dirigida magistralmente por Duncan Jones, y venimos a visitar el set y por supuesto a platicar con el elenco de este proyecto que ha llevado más de 10 años, y que créanme, yo sin ser fan, fan, fan de Warcraft, quedé completamente enamorado y sé que no los va a defraudar, porque más allá de ser una película de un videojuego, cuenta una gran historia, que de alguna forma me parece también revela lo que ocurre hoy en día en el mundo y con nuestra sociedad. Así que vamos a ver qué nos dice el talento y el elenco y el director, por supuesto, Duncan Jones de Warcraft. Um, I was working in Ireland at the time and I got sent the script and I put myself on tape and they're dumb enough to cast me, so that's me. Paula. <laughs> I, they sent me the script and um And I didn't know about the World of Warcraft, but I loved the story and I loved the character Corona. I met with Duncan and Duncan showed me this incredible world he envisioned and he let me know about World of Warcraft. And, and uh, we had sort of a love fest and it was one of those weird things. In the moment, you had to do legal stuff yeah. afterwards, but in that moment, we both decided we wanted to do it together, so. Yeah, I was, I was late. Duncan was already in Vancouver prepping. So I did my audition over Skype. I had about eight pages. I'd figured out a voice, that's what I'd tried to do for Duratan, giving a sort of earthy feeling to his voice, because I was hoping they would adapt it, because I can't make my voice Morgan Freeman low, I just can't do it. So okay. it, was, it was a beautiful process, I was lucky. I, I was actually sitting at Legendary and they said, we're doing this project, and are you sick of motion capture? I said, no, I love it, it's a great craft, you know. So. You know, uh, I'm just an actor, and I was just hired to be an actor and I was not hired to be an advisor. Yeah. And if people came up to me and they asked my advice on, you know, what, what's this, what's that? And I would happily say, but I was never going to be one going around going, no, you shouldn't do that. Mm. You waggle like this for arcane <laughs> sort of You know, there was, there was a line that you don't cross. I, I Skyped with Duncan about it. Um, and we had a long chat about the project and I, I had been a fan of Duncan's for a while. Um, and he just, he sold me on it. You know, just his vision, the way he wanted to approach the story, the integrity that he was bringing to it as a storyteller was just very appealing and, and really drew me in. Uh, working, working at, uh, it was called Elixir Studios and it was in London and it was, uh, it was wonderful and I met some amazing people who, who actually, some of whom ended up working with me on my first film, Moon. Okay. Uh, Gavin Rothery, who did the uh, concept artwork and helped me build The set design and everything for Moon was 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 um, was something up. Someone I met there, um, but I, you know I have a I have a huge fascination and respect um, for what people do making games because um, it's interesting. They're very much like uh, they're very much like brother brother professions, filmmaking and game design. You know, one is about trying to find a way to entertain the audience by giving them as much freedom as possible, yeah. and the other is about entertaining the audience by making them absolutely look at exactly what you want them to look at. Yeah. <laughs> so they're different approaches, but the same goal. 